It was a glorious day on the island of Sodor. Villagers, children, even Sir Top and Hat was excited. The circus was coming. The engines were thrilled. They loved the circus too. Donald loved the horses. Douglas loved the clowns. Children gathered on the bridges. They were waiting to see the circus pass by. Oliver became more and more excited. Everyone wanted to collect the circus from Burnham Docks. Sir Top and Hat came to the Little Western sheds. He had exciting news for Oliver. Oliver, you are to collect the circus. He boomed. Oliver was very happy. Pulling the circus sounded like wonderful fun. But if there are too many freight cars for you to pull, added Sir Top and Hat, you must share the work with another engine. Donald and Douglas were pleased. Maybe they get to pull the circus after all. Oliver puffed over to Brindam Docks. Oliver steamed into the docks. Cranky was unloading the circus. Oliver was amazed. There were trailers and horse boxes, colorful costumes, coaches, and flatbeds as far as the eye could see. Oliver was so excited that his axles tingled. The acrobats and clowns climbed aboard Isabel and Dulcy. Oliver buffered up to collect the coaches. Do you want to wheel there, matey? Axe halted cheerfully. Oliver remembered what Sir Top and Hat had said about sharing the work, but the band started playing, and everybody was cheering. Oliver thought this was the most wonderful special delivery ever. Even though the train was very heavy, he didn't want to share it. No, thank you, Salty. He gasped. I could do it on my own. And Oliver took the biggest puff he could, and slowly pulled away. Oliver trundled through the countryside. His pistons pumped, and his traction rods rattled. But Oliver didn't notice. He was having far too much fun. Oliver puffed towards Wellsford Station. He had a wonderful surprise. Passengers and staff waved and cheered as he passed by. The band played on, and Oliver blew his whistle in time with the trumpet. Oliver felt very special. Pulling the circus was lots of fun. Oliver stopped by a bridge. Donald was waiting there too. Children waved to Oliver and the circus. Oliver blew his whistle. Donald wanted to join in. Is there anything I can take? Asked Donald hopefully. But Oliver wanted to keep all the fun to himself. No, thank you, he gasped. I can do it all on my own. Donald watched Oliver and the circus slowly shuffle away. He felt very disappointed. Oliver puffed on. The train started to feel heavier and heavier. His traction rods were rattling more than ever. Oliver stopped at the junction. Douglas was waiting in the siding. Douglas thought the band sounded very jolly. If you want to uncouple some freight cars, he said hopefully, I could take them for you. No, thank you, gasped Oliver. I can do it all on my own. He didn't want to miss out on any of the fun. Oliver steamed on. But every huff and every chuff got harder and harder. Oliver passed through the next station, but he was almost out of puff. Oliver wasn't having fun anymore. Then there was trouble. With a horrible creak and a terrible crack, 
Oliver's traction rods broke. Oliver stopped with a jolt. Suddenly, it was very quiet. Oliver felt very sad. Oliver's driver telephoned for help. Even the performers practicing in the field didn't make Oliver feel better. Oliver wished he had shared the heavy load. Soon, Donald and Douglas arrived. Douglas brought new traction rods, and Donald brought hay for the horses. But Oliver still felt miserable. I wish I'd shared the work with you," he said sadly. "Don't worry," puffed Donald. "We can all have fun now," said Douglas cheerfully, and he was right. While Oliver's tracks and rods were replaced, they all enjoyed watching the circus performers practice. Then Oliver shared the freight cars. Donald took the horses. Douglas took the performers. Then the band started playing. This is fun! Puffed Oliver. All three engines blew their whistles, and the long and jolly train set off. Later, the friends watched as the big tent was put up. Thanks for helping me," puffed Oliver. "Sharing your work makes things much easier, but sharing the fun is the best fun of all." And everyone agreed. <laughs>